I think when we did our book, uh, you really opened my eyes to this dynamic with all the great research you did. And that is that for 10 years, the uh, uh, Democratic Party and people like Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, their foundation, Hunter Biden and his group of uh, characters, they were using Russia, China and Ukraine as piggy banks for their political interests and their personal interests. And while that was going on, we were constantly giving concessions to Russia. Talk a little bit about some of the things you and I dug up when it comes to the energy concessions that made America more dependent on Vladimir Putin today because of concessions we made a decade ago. Yeah, well, that, that's absolutely right, John. I think what we're seeing right now in the, this tragic situation in Ukraine is that corruption has consequences. The corruption of the Obama-Biden administration and the Hillary Clinton State Department and what Hunter Biden was doing in Ukraine and all the way up through today, it's led to devastating consequences. So the, this whole morass in Ukraine really goes back to the Russia reset. We wrote about this in the book. And uh, I was going through it today, and it was just stunning how right we were on how this led to a devastating situation here. So 2009, really just days into the Obama-Biden administration, Obama gives the first concession to Vladimir Putin. He sends this secret letter. The New York Times actually wrote about this. Uh, he sends a secret letter to Medvedev saying that if you help us out with Iran— get a, a nuclear deal with Iran, we're going to cancel missile defense in Poland. And that was a huge move. Democrats and Republicans alike were against canceling the Bush, George W. Bush plan for missile defense in Poland. That was just weeks into the Obama administration. Then you have Joe Biden going out and saying, promoting this, quote, Russia reset that we're going to have. Then you have Hillary promoting it. That's all early 2009.